What immediately screams trashy parenting to you? Stitcher comment. Story time. When I was about eight years old, I have a brother and a sister. I'm the oldest. Uh, next is my brother and my sister was the baby. I was about eight and I want to say my sister was a toddler, two, three years old at the time. My mother was running late for work and she could not find her car keys. And she was tearing up the house looking for me. We were in my grandmother's house, actually. And she blamed me. She said, you, you took my keys and you hid my keys. And I said, no, I didn't, mommy. And she said, yes, you did. She just outright blamed me. I didn't touch the keys. I didn't see the keys. My mother chased me all over my grandmother's living room. And we ended up in the kitchen, right? And she cornered me in the kitchen. And remember now I'm eight years old. She cornered me in the kitchen and she punched me directly in the nose, bust my nose wide open, blood splattered all over my shirt. Yeah, fucked up, right? Um, so where were her car keys? Okay, she's running late for work. Where did the car keys end up being? Come to find out my baby sister, who is a toddler at the time, I don't even think my sister was speaking. She was walking around with a pacifier or her thumb in her mouth. Didn't talk, just quiet. My baby sister stuck the keys um, in the door. She was, you know how children emulate and copy off of adults. Apparently she's a toddler and she saw the adults, you know, put the key in the doorknob. So she was just, you know, repeating what she saw. So she stuck my mother's car keys um, in the door some type of way. Okay, you think my mother apologized to me? She said, oh, y'all get in the car. Let's go. Let's go. She rushed us in the car. Wait, the story gets better after this. Blood all over my shirt, sitting in the back seat and blood all crusted and dried up all over my nose, my shirt and everything. We get to the job here. This is where it gets real good. At the time, my mother um, was working at this shoe store. It was something like Payless Shoe Store, something, some type of store like that. Uh, she parked all the way in the back of the parking lot, right? And she said to me, you are to watch your brother and sister. Here's a loaf of bread, a jar of jelly, and some oranges. Make sure they eat. Uh, you take them to the bathroom in the store but don't you let anything happen to them. If anything happens to your brother and sister, I'm going to beat your fucking ass. And do you know my mother uh, left us in the back of the parking lot for about eight hours, her whole entire eight hour shift. I was responsible. I'm eight years old. Remember now. And I'm responsible for my brother and sister's well-being. Blood all over my shirt, busted nose, dried up blood all over my mouth and, and nose. Eight years old. You want to talk about trashy parenting? When you're raised by a narcissistic, sociopath, psychopath, and you know for a fact that your mother does not love you, she's emotionally disconnected from you, and the only reason she gave birth to you was to control the other parent. You're nothing but a pawn piece in, in this sick game between her and your father. There ain't no way you love your children and you treat them like that. That's just one story, y'all. I got I got too many stories. I thank God that I'm healed from my childhood trauma. I forgive that woman. But I tell you what, she'll never see me for the rest of her life. And I mean that. I'm very indifferent. I don't have anger towards her or hatred, but I'm very indifferent. I'm so comfortable telling this story now. I don't I don't tear up or anything because I am at peace with who I am and I'm a mother. And I would never do that to mine. I've raised mine differently. But I say all this to say, most of us were raised by narcissistic mothers and especially the single mothers that raise these fucked up men today. This is why these men are fucking misogynistic because their mamas are narcissists and they have a hidden resentment towards their mothers. They have a love hate relationship and instead of them cutting their mamas off permanently and going to therapy to heal those mother wounds, they rather instead jump into romantic relationships and all their anger and resentment built up over the childhood years at their mother, they punish their girlfriends and wives and baby mamas for the transgressions and sins of their mamas. It is hell being raised by a narcissistic woman. She destroys her sons and her daughters. But my mama didn't destroy me. I became a better woman and a better mother than her. Y'all be blessed.